Hi guys, this is Mike here at Mac Observer, and today I'll show you 5 best ways to fix Apple ID grayed out issue on iPhone. A grayed out Apple ID means that your Apple ID is inaccessible or inactive. We all know that Apple ID is the key to using any Apple device. So, the grayed out Apple ID issue can be very frustrating. Let us find out how to fix this issue effortlessly. While checking your iPhone settings, if you find your Apple ID grayed out, it means that you cannot access any of the Apple services like iTunes, iCloud, iBook, App Store, etc. Many reasons can cause Apple ID to gray out. I am going to list some of the most probable causes of this issue. There is confusion regarding more than one Apple ID is used to download or update iOS apps. Apple ID is deactivated suspended. iCloud is restoring your app backups. Your iPhone is part of MDM. Only the company admin can make changes. Either you or someone else has enabled some restrictions on your iPhone. An unstable network connection could also cause the grayed out Apple ID issue. If you do find your Apple ID grayed out, I have a few easy solutions for you. You can try these yourself and hopefully one of them resolves the issue. While this is not a proper solution, it helps determine whether the issue is on your end or at Apple's end. There are a few times when you might face this issue due to Apple servers being down or some other technical difficulties. Open browser and go to the Apple system status page. Now check for Apple ID in the list. If the dot beside it is not green or written available, then you will have to wait for Apple to resolve the issue. If you see that the dot beside Apple ID is green in the last step, then you can try to fix the issue by resetting your iPhone settings. Let us quickly take a look at how to do it. Please remember that doing this will reset all your settings and erase location settings, keyboard dictionary, home screen layout, etc. So, if you wish to preserve these data, be sure to back it all up on iCloud before initiating this process. The screen time feature might cause your Apple ID to get grayed out. So in that case, the best option is to turn off screen time. Here is how you can do so. Go to settings on your iPhone and scroll down to screen time, open it. Now you can change the screen time settings and turn it off from inside the downtime option. Or you can scroll down and turn off all the limits and restrictions you had imposed using screen time. If your iPhone is supervised, there is a good chance that your Apple ID is going to be grayed out. This means that your Apple ID is not deactivated. It just means that you do not have access to it. In case there is parental control on your device, removing it will usually fix the issue. You can try to talk to whoever is supervising your iPhone, usually the organization you work for, and ask them to remove it. However, Enterprise iPhone is meant only for work purposes. Thus, you cannot make any changes to Apple ID related features. More often than not, restriction settings are responsible for the grayed out Apple ID issue. You should have the ability to change your account settings on your iPhone. Whenever account changes is disabled, the Apple ID is grayed out. In content and privacy restrictions, scroll down to account changes and select it. Now select don't allow. Which of the solutions worked for you? Do let us know. Are there any other methods that you use to solve your Apple ID grayed out issue? If yes, do let us know in the comments. If you have any doubts regarding the solutions, feel free to reach out and we will help you to the best of our abilities. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Mac Observer for more intuitive guides, tips, and Apple news. This is Mike here. See you next time.